Hey -o, and welcome to the stream. It's Hunter Maury here in FM23, and we are back with Bella Nessus for the second stream. We got off to a tough start with uh, where we were in winning positions. Can we hold on to leads as we push forward into the season? We I did not do anything in the off season, so we will be going through deadline day today. Um, I don't suspect any moves on our part. Maybe some people will come in for like some loanies or something, but I, I think we are pretty much set as I don't think we'll open up enough to make a valuable acquisition at this stage. But a decent start in a way, as we did get two points, but still searching for our first win. We've been pretty dominant in possession. We need to see if that continues, but we also need to be doing more with the ball um, as we push forward. So, kind of without further ado, let's just get right into it and, and push forward. Um, oh. Three strikers, right? Okay. Um, we'll confirm him in, and I guess we will add him to the registration. Well, we'll list him for loan and see if anybody comes for him. Um, and I guess new acquisitions are probably still able to be registered. That's kind of weird that we still have, like, deadline day, but it's, like, finalized. Even more reason to maybe uh, get stuff done a little bit quicker. Um, what else did I want to do? I think I'm going to pull the tempo of the standard too. We'll see how that goes for us. I think we're just looking to um, put force the issue a little bit more as we move forward. So I think I just want to bring that up a bit. I'm also not sure, I just feel like a lower defensive line is always bad, but I'm wondering if, like, the mid block plays a little weird, because I do feel like we've just had balls over the top so much. I'm just wondering if it's changed a little bit, and it's actually a little bit more viable to drop off a little bit. I think what I'll do is I'll just, I think we're going to start setting up a drop off more. That's how we've gotten beaten in the first two games. Uh, now, two games is maybe not enough to do too many changes but i think let's like start making some small tweaks and see how we go we're not necessarily looking to go to positive we, you know we're not making wholesale changes yet but we're looking at another thing i wanted to do because i noticed in a little bit of editing though i didn't actually get anything up is i think carvajalo is going to be our primary uh dm backup so I, with us moving on from a couple of other players, so I think I want to get him in. And another question that I had, because the team is very rigid, we're in structure, I'm wondering...
if actually upping this to like support isn't a terrible idea. Two. And just giving us that subtle, fluid, flexible in the team fluidity. Make, maybe open up some options for us. few minor tweaks I've been thinking about. I don't know if those will stick too much, but worth thinking about it. Um, I think everything else is good. Oh, I wanted to look at training here, though, because it seems like we're doing some weird mix-match training thing. And I don't know that we need to, like, sneak this match tactics in here at the moment. We do need to get more familiar tactically, but honestly, I think the bigger issue is making sure we get, like, the team bonding in there. It might even be worth making sure we get, like, community outreach in every week as well. Um, we really got to get the team bond uh, at a better spot. A lot happening around the world, it seems. Uh... Oh. Did I, like, not... Did I, like, choose not to take part in it? Deadline day? I mean, I still... I'm, I still don't really care, but, uh... Good. Um, what am I working on? Um, training. Physical possession. Um, so I'll do that, that, um. Uh, Um, something like that. stuff going around on the deadline day so i don't know if i missed that on on the first deadline day it do, this one doesn't really matter um uh, but i'll try, maybe try to put that away and see uh think about it more next next year it is generally exciting and they do give you a lot of like intriguing players sometimes for you to like scout and stuff though Scouting seems a little weird here, and I might have to, like, I don't know, do a little more research. Right now, we can really only scout the area, which I think we're doing and doing successfully. So, I'm going to kind of say we're doing enough this year. Um, you know what else I could focus on? Like, end of contract stuff. But that also just kind of seems like it might be the whole league. So, it may not be too much different with what we're doing.
So far, we're doing okay. okay. Mm, interesting. So there's also, well, I guess a lot of this team is new. It does seem like we 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 are also a little low on team leaders and highly influential players. So. Nobody came for Fernandez. I chose wrong, although he might not have wanted to come here anyway. Um, So they really only look at our tactic then? Oh. And I guess that's fine. Yeah, so nobody should be expiring in six months, right? You can just make like an ongoing focus. Okay. Oh, so this is how you do nation scouting. Oh, 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 oh. Got you. That's so odd. Um, I don't know if I like it. I'd rather just, like, create the way that they were before. Like, hey, you, go hang out in... But I guess, so what you do there, and then what? You would assign a scout, specifically? But right now, I can't... It doesn't matter. Interesting. I'm gonna create, like, another focus... Honestly, I'm just gonna go like, I mean, I guess I need some sort of baseline ability, but really I'm just gonna like, who's got like that next level potential that can push us farther than where we are now um, that we know about is kind of my point. I mean, I might be able to like, you know what? Yeah. 
I lied. I, I still want you to probably be... I need you to be close-ish, because we might advance out. Um, so I lied. We'll see. Um, and, but I don't think we'll restart here. Oh. Sure. Then. do that then. I guess, could I change that to just like ongoing? I was like trying to split it up, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Let me get a physio. And Clet is back. And we do send out Oliviera. So we do have like a spot open. Not that I think it means much. Oh. And that hurts. Ferraria down for three weeks. Multiple week injury there. Um, I won't cl criticize Clay. It does seem like they may have brought back in. Or maybe it's just because you're at the lower level and people aren't as professional even. It does seem like they may have brought back like the don't praise too much, don't um, crit critique too much. It felt like last year you could like praise and critique as much as you wanted for guys and they wouldn't really get mad at least at tra the training levels um, not that i know which feels more realistic realistic but uh, it is what it is Hey, we're playing a team lower than us on the table. Let's see if we can maybe get something done. I'll look into that. I also think at some point... We do have to look at maybe our other goalkeeper. Not that I think it's been our goalkeeper's fault, but we maybe should keep the other guy fresh, potentially. Um, so I kind of want to do a this. Maybe I mean maybe we're gonna find out that there's like another game that's popping up here. But I think I want to, like, one of these weeks, I feel like, should be physical. Um, and then we're mostly going to focus on, like, that. that that's kind of my current plan, and we'll see how it goes. It might also be, like, international break time, but because we don't have anybody that will be in a, on an international squad, we're not really getting any notices about that necessarily um yeah team selection Terraria is down I think we're gonna keep Grillo. I want to give him another chance as we're, we're 
getting up. I still think he's the better option. Um, so, so. Valente, not Lopez. We'll go back to Daniel Martins. Um, Valente in, Cruz in, and I guess at that point it has to be Chavi at the moment. Um, and Tavares. And at least I think here early. I do think Clay might be an important player, so I think I do want to make the sub here. I'm having trouble getting everybody involved, to be honest, because we're just trying. I'm trying to get the best team out there. I do think I need to do a better job rotating. So that maybe it hasn't been drawn yet, but we will have a game here next Sunday. In a cup game. Yeah, and then I feel like I feel like the guys that maybe it's like time to sub, it's like but they're my starters, <laughs> you know. We're gonna press the width if they get it. I don't know if they'll be getting it. Um, I don't know. And maybe it's a good idea not to do too much, but we'll press and we'll maybe like show the weaker foot the offensive players at least as we were feeling it. Also, I wonder if that doesn't do anything because that team doesn't know what his weaker foot is like in a way like uh we didn't get the sheet that said this guy's a right-footed player I wonder, I wonder if that's real um two we'll see we'll we'll start out um it's not really the I gotta roll out him with Justin Please, Raider Soccer, given Martinez lack of match fitness. Um I think we'll still get on the pitch will be fine. Um I think he makes it stronger. There. We're going up against Fantinas. With a loss and a draw in their first two matches. We have drawn both from winning positions. Um we're looking to see if we can hold on, do something a little bit different. Not too many changes, uh, but we are trying to get a guy off of injury that I think could be an important player for us, and Clay um, on the field for the first time. We've generally played well, but uh, can we take it to the next level? And I think more importantly, it's putting two good halves together. It seems like we can be good for a half, <laughs> but.
And a push. Yao Sosa down on the ground. And a yellow card. And a spot kick for Miguel Tavares. Converted on his first one of the season. And he sends the keeper the other way and puts it home. Both of his goals are penalties. Not entirely what we want to see, but I do appreciate that he's putting it home. I don't, we don't have a top-level penalty taker on this team by any means, so good to trust the young star just because he's a young star and him rewarding us. down again. Cruz will take it and he'll flip play to Rosa. A long cross field ball. I like that. Duarte looking to pick it up. Pedro Martello. Nearly a brilliant play. Looking like Richarlson out there. Not really. Not really. That attack today by Brazil was absolutely immaculate. Um, but Close. Chavi, perfectly through. Martello can't finish it, though. But for our 70% possession, 74% now, we are also dominant on the XG chart and the shots. And, and pretty, doing pretty well defensively. That's what we want to see. In the first two games, we weren't converting them. And it's still not like an insanely high rate, and I don't expect that. But I, I'm liking what I'm seeing, and the fact that we already have a goal helps. Even though there is definitely a feeling of we might need more than that. Tavares, a tap in on the backside. Perfect pass from Pedro Martello. It didn't look like it had the pace, but it was perfectly weighted for Tavares to run into. Not aggressive enough from the keeper, but a driving pass, a good run, and Tavares wasn't, it didn't even seem like he originally thought it was gonna get through, but he is there on the backside to tap it. that run. Martello. Oh no, it'll fall to Tavares. It, it, again, he kind of seemed like he wasn't <laughs> expecting the ball. But it just falls to him. In space. Well, and that thing is happening again where they're not. Oh, and off! Oh, is having a tough one. Rosa's a little tired. But an absolutely dominant first half performance, and we've put ourselves in a good place. Now, the trick and the key that has been the entirety of our season so far, can we keep it up for another half? goal lead the most dangerous lead and we've already lost when we had a i guess we only had a two goal lead or were we up three nothing in our first game i think we must have been up three nothing actually so we've already lost from an even better position or well drew from an even better position than this one <laughs> Looking, looking for a cross, open, but doesn't quite get the technique right, but it was sloppy from Bellinessis, and they go from 
allowing no shots at all in the first to allowing a shot within the first couple of minutes. Of the second half. <laughs> a close one. Seemed to kind of be shooting on sight a little bit. Almeida wins it. Slow reaction from her tens. Madi. He'll play it back. Almeida down. Deflected. And nearly in. It hits the outside of the post and will go out for a corner. Yet again, we looked like superstars in the first half, but just don't seem to have it here in the second. Um, Um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, actually, it seems like... It seems like... Well, well, are they getting more? They're getting crosses in... I kind of think we maybe just need to, like, push it a little bit more on that side. And I think it might also t be time to, like, get some changes. A shot from range that's just scary. It sucks not being able to trust the bottom numbers though, uh, of just like how well players are feeling. Rosa does well there, Martella will clear it. Ido. Dirios. You know, looks to chip it in, and Grillo will come out and claim that one. I think we'll probably sub the defensive line next. Tello trying to run onto it, can't do it. Pushing wide. Maria not stepping in, really. Ragnar will cut it back to Ida. A long range shot, but didn't really seem like he was in the correct body position for that one. We're doing okay. I like I wonder because like if we're like because we're controlling the ball, like less we're actually okay but i think we won't sit around martens and sarah will step in here on the def because they came in uninterested they're struggling to meet the pace of the match Is that what The subs may not be helping, necessarily, but we're just mostly looking, can we hold on? Ooh, 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 and just wide. The net is definitely being peppered. Bellinesses have not been as good in the second half. Oh, I 
looking for? Oh, shall see. I don't know. That might be a bad idea. Um, we don't have a card yet. Like, show some passion. And he's Naba. Couldn't keep himself on side. Doesn't mean much, but some like fresh legs in the front. And Costa. Alright, well. We're seeing some offense. Costa! And it finds the back of the net! The substitute will seal the game and the first th win in our tenure here at Bellinessus. Couple of substitutes linking up here off the off the corner. We'll call it a low block. Then. Um, we're just looking to cause problems. Tins. Brock. Rasa pulling forward. He looks to whip one in. Isnaba wins it. No real challenge from Sarah on that one. Uh, you know, there's probably something I forgot to do. Not that I think it matters at this stage, but uh, I'm trying to put that in back in my brain. We are happy to waste all the time in the world. Grillo will go long. Costa, the target. Not really his game. He probably would want the want Marcelo there, but Fred looking for Costa again. Sarah. Julio Cruz. He'll play it long to. Maria, who's looking for Miguel Tavares on the other side, but that's cut out. Diaz in the middle. One final push potentially here for Fontinhas. Going down the left side with Ragnar. Grillo will capture that ball and victory. The first of many, hopefully. Still a tale of two halves, but we were excellent in the first and we did enough in the second and we did kind of regain control of the game late and capitalize with a goal. We were excellent. It was a top performance.
with one victory. Up to fourth place. <laughs> we'll take it. Structured again, but again, not pushing very high. Uh, we did well to not give them too much. Now nah, we're good. I'm good on that. I mean, actually, I think it became slightly more complicated, but it'll be okay. Tavares in your team of the week. Flavino down now. Boy. Oh boy. <laughs> um yeah, I don't want to do anything. Yeah, so they are definitely getting mad when you like praise too much. So I'll have to try to remember and do it like every other week. You know, remember which players I'm praising. with a tight calf. I mean, this is a tough week, but that's, you know, was kind of the point. Physical training might be bad. This seems like so much of the same thing. Um, uh, start with something a little bit easier. Uh, 
Um. Okay. 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 So this one, do like set pieces, we'll do like a goalkeeping, uh, do like a chance creation, a chance conversion, and we'll uh, do like attacking movements, defensive shape. Okay, so I think I'm gonna mix this up. Um, defensive shape. I think I wanna mix this up a little bit more, so. throw in some like physical trainings in here. Yeah. I'll do the quickness one a little bit sooner earlier in that. And I'll do something like that as we push through. And then we'll think about this one. Oh, you know what? I I'm being dumb, actually. Not that that surprises anyone. Uh, Something like that. Yeah, we'll do something. Something like this. Maybe. Took a little too long to think about that, I think, but, um. You know what? That's something else. I don't know if this will help or not. With anything. Tepecito will get a little bit, and Spado will get a little bit. Okay, this is quite worth having. Rosa, Martens. Actually, you know what, I might add like a... Uh...
Sands, Rosa. Yago Lopez. Red Martins. Tagger might also be a lot. So we got a couple guys working on Lopez a little bit. Reduce this a little bit, but just trying to like get everybody sorted out generally, um, and then we'll see about how I want people to actually influence um, things. I think it doesn't really matter either way, but I think we'll get Mertens out of this one, for example. Um, the defenders. So everybody's kind of working on everybody here. So the defense is very samey. So it may not even really be worth having a defenders one. Because they're all influential players. Nobody at the moment really has a hold on the defense. Could maybe like look for a little bit more loyalty, I guess. That's the one kind of unique thing there. But I think we'll just kind of take that whole one out. Um, Lente, Pedro Carvajal. Chavi's kind of working both ways, but it's... So... Carvajalo. Not too concerned about him. Uh, he's helping, and he's helping as a fairly professional player, so I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, and then we have Antunes and Cruz working in that one. Okay. So, Miguel Lopez is pretty much just not doing anything. Same with Flavinho. They're just kind of Nothing. And Dita is kind of... Well, and then Dita has at least that fairly professional. And then Clay. I mean, at least he's getting a little something out of it, I guess. And then Martello and Costa. A little bit younger. Getting a little bit of work. So. Sure. Sure. I actually think we removed that from Lopez last time, but... Uh, actually, somebody else might have actually got that. I, I don't... Is, like, that... That's new wording to me. Is that mean, like, it's done? Like, he's not gonna get significantly better? Because these, they say, like, no longer weaknesses, but, like, that you generally can ignore? Took a little bit of time, but we also set up our, uh, um, I mean, I guess I don't have to view the draw, but we're gonna do all of this. So we will get a team that I guess is not ranked? I don't know what that means. <laughs> In Camara de Lobos. Well, some of these players are real. Yeah. 
so they are a semi-professional team. So we should, um, should be a victory. Yeah, whatever, whatever they're feeling. And then we get some under-19 sports scientists. I do have a general question. It's not like affecting my payroll much. Set that. And we'll just keep pushing forward. Yeah, kind of the. I don't know what that would be in training. I think I clicked the thing that was just like automatically like select teams, but I I feel like maybe I shouldn't have done that, and I should control if guys can play because I, I don't even think I'm getting like an email of like can players play, and maybe maybe the thing is like if they're registered for the top team, they can't play in the. Could be. One nice thing about, like, um... Well, and uh, that might have even just been that game, but, like, when I felt like whenever I was playing as, um, Salford in the English leagues, you could just, like, you could keep a whole squad fresh by just, like, playing guys in, like, you... Because they had, like, multiple U, like, under-21s, I think, and, like, under-19s. Like, another step down. I, I do... So, this is taking a little bit of time. I do have a pretty large number loaded. I actually think I have less players in the database though than I did in Brescia. Um, but I'm kind of wondering if it's just like, um, this seems to be, this feels like a long time on here. Like I, I'm wondering if the game may be not quite as efficient this year as one possibility. So where maybe I should lower the leagues even further and go through that i just don't know what would have taken that much time and it's random <laughs> part of the year but uh because usually like the first of every month takes a while um so uh Sarah, I feel like some of these guys are repeats, but um, it's going to be okay and figure it out.
but I wonder if it was just like so many leagues having like draws for various cup games or something scheduling all of those kind of wondering if it's, it's something like that So we reach out. That's interesting. I don't know if that was in the previous games where it's like, uh, you know, because uh, he's a player out on loan. Fierce dislike. All right. All right. Well. Well, I'll see about that. Are the same? Yeah, we can. We're definitely looking for a repeat performance. Um, not so sure. We'll have to wait and see. Um, Yeah, I think right now I'm just going to answer that one a little bit low. We don't really know. I have some speculations that their ambition isn't as big as mine, but we'll see. Um, and it gets even worse. One guy must think I'm just like two goody goody two shoes. We'll see. We'll see. Wants to stir up some drama, and I'm not giving it to him. So we're gonna have a pretty tight turnaround for the first time. Ah, and then Ferraria is back. Benefited. One small benefit. So I think we'll do a little rotation here in keeping in mind that we'll be... Like rotating pretty heavily for the next game. Out of necessity. So Rosa. So we'll start Martins. And we'll go back. We'll keep Martins in. Get Andre Sarah in. And then we'll, I think we'll stick Valente in. Cruz and then Tunis. I don't know. Actually, you know, yeah, I guess we will. We'll get. Ferrero in. Uh, not Figuero. Sorry, Ferrera. Um, and then Mali Maria Lopez Costa. How many changes is that, though? One, two, three, four, five. I'm okay with that.
Yeah, I want to get off to a good start. So I'm going to go... Wow. I don't like listening to me, bro. <laughs> uh, um... I'm gonna do the same thing that I like to do, which is press these wide players. Um, and well, we know he's got like a strong foot versus another. So, at least say to put him on the weaker foot. Generally, it's not a bad idea, and I feel like at this level, it's not. No, yeah, I think the attackers will try to show up. Um, it's giving everybody a real, it's all about momentum, we need to put, take, put these back to back. Um, uh, to get them to know them more. Wrong the, ch wrong the change of the six in total, why is that? Um, we need to make sure the players stay fit and fresh, so rotation is key. Even after that long break since our last game. We were looking to rotate here. I mean, I, we could have maybe played the starters here, rotate, and then rotate half the team, half the team um, in the next two games. I think we probably could have done that, but it would have just meant other guys haven't played for, like, 17, 18 days, you know, um, if, if they didn't play before that. So I may look like an idiot rotating after getting our victory, but um, a risk I'm willing to take. And it does mean that we have a strong set of subs on the bench that we're fully confident in. Should have come to that. Dangerous early. Though, for Bellinessis. Hello. It's a hard but wide of the net. Hello. Forte doing well there. back and forth and now they push forward people through to Maria a good touch and it's blocked in front good work that time surging through the line to Cruz. he holds on to it Amato picking him off but Cruz gets it back Maria now with it, and he looks to whip it all the way over to Lopez, who takes a shot at, into the side netting. Tough angle, tough chance. I put that maybe closer than you would even expect. On the back side, and it's over the bar. Could have been something dangerous. Falls to Leandro, and he goes with his head. Nobody stepping up onto him there. Grillo. And gets to breathe a sigh of relief as it heads over his bar. here but a pretty tough day for a lot of the substitutes kind of as expected they uh you know not getting games
Magai really believes pretty heavily in rotation, just trying to keep guys fresh at minimum, you know. Sometimes you get tough performances out of it. Just looking to hold on with not much time left. Just get a clearance, get into and Leandro, and it's wide. Some chances. Yeah, I think I want to just, like, force the issue a little bit more. Um, I feel like defensively it's been a little s scary. But I don't want to, like, open ourselves up much more at the moment. So we're going to get started, but I think we have to be on, like, a 10-minute clock. If we're not seeing improvement from the team, we got to get new blood out there. Um, pretty quickly. I thought about making one change at halftime, but I just there wasn't a guy that it feels right for. Is the way that I would say it. Like, could be Lopez, could be Costa, could be Sarah, could be Fred. Like, all there's a lot of guys with like the 6.5. So I want to see like at least maybe one of those guys improve a little bit, settle into the second half. That would be kind of ideal. Pipo going over the top. Costa, a chance to finish it, but it goes wayward. Yeah, and it just seems like Costa and Lopez not quite getting it done up front. So we will go to Tavares and Martello. Um, but I don't, yeah, actually, you know what, I'm also going to make the change for David Rosa. So three, I think, really key players jumping in here. It'll get through, but scuffed across the keeper's face, but wide. And a big change for Belenesis. Looking to get a little bit more offense. And Paolo. And he blasts it wide, but he is starting to find some space. Jordan. Rosa cuts it out beautifully. Cruz scuffs it though. Giancalo. We're okay with him taking the long shots like that. gets hurt, so we'll go to Carvalho there. Um, and then we'll try to just sure up the defense with a substitution here and go to Sosa. It's not entirely what I want to do there, but sure, trying to sure up the defense. I 
And so we just gotta rely on Tavares. No, and wide. slow it down. We'll take that, Martins. Pressing forward. A long way out for Martello. I don't love that. Not exactly... Ivan Perisic out there, you know? But a little bit more from Belenenses here. I think it's gonna not quite be enough, unfortunately, though. Chipped up looking. doing what we want to do and make it difficult to get that ball in behind. It hasn't really been there. That's well worked, Pipo. Doing well there, too, to hold on to it. Rosa pushing down the sideline. And he'll look. He'll be headed over. Martens will keep it in. Miguel Tavares will cut inside. It falls to Cruz! And on the edge of the box for the man they call people. The deep Ferreria. Ferreira. It's a little close. Can't get it over the wall, but it will carry him off and be a corner. Substitutions. Tavares and Martello kind of, kind of making a positive impact. Everybody else kind of struggling. Sosa is over. The pressure is coming for Belenesis now, but maybe a little too late to actually find the goal. I think both teams probably deserved one somewhere along the way. They just couldn't quite get it done. But I don't think you can complain if you're either side with a draw here. But a final push for Belenesis. Looking to flip it over the top. Oliviera, Pinheiro. Back to Fabio. Oliviera. And that is game. A surging rush in the back the back half from Belenesis. A couple of chances that they probably wish they had back. But overall. Can't complain with that draw. Yeah, I mean, I, I did think that once we maybe started getting, uh... Once we, once we started getting those chances again, I did think about, like, pulling off, and I wonder if I should have, and just, like, take control of the match, and maybe we would have gotten something. I'll take it. 
Oh. Um. Yeah, we just never really felt like we totally took control of the game, and and I guess that's kind of what I mean by by when I'm saying that we just didn't take control ever. Um. Why can either team be in the North and the South? What? Ah, shoot. Tactical. And then after that poor finishing performance, let's, uh... And Carvalho twists his ankle and he'll be out. And then our young goalkeeper, he'll just be out. What's our... It is important. Well, I still kind of expect a rotation here. It just helped. Not that that was insanely tight, but after that... It's another 12 days until we have a game. We have that, and then we have like a week plus, and then we have eight days, and then we have 12 days. Jesus. I might need to like arrange friendlies just to like keep the team going. Um, there's something about intentions. Um, oh, so yes, we like to seek the initiative. Um, I think we can get the... Um, I think so. He's an individual player, and um, I think he's well-suited for this type of match. Sarah's new, I think. Oh, and that's um that's a good point. Costa had a pretty bad match. start um i think rosa will will switch in um i'm gonna go tiago lopez i think on the other side help out sosa in but i think sarah in the other side um valente will get the start because he's really our only True defensive midfielder right now. Um, Ferrari is feeling a little bit better, but we'll go back to Chavi. Um, and Antonius. And then Cruz will come in. For the injury. And then we're definitely going to go to Tavares. And Martello. But I think we're also going to take 
Costa out of the lineup and go to D. trying to get clay back so we'll do that so subs one two three four substitutions so a little less and maybe a so then maybe a little more options for us Starting to get some guys. Yeah, yeah, press the wing backs for sure. And I don't know. Well, a team with the Eastern record in front of goal. Um, I mean, scoring goals definitely is important, and so we definitely want to keep going. Um, uh, yeah, things happen, so it's up to the squad to make sure we don't miss them too much. Back out there, still with yet to lose, and we are back in front of the home fans. Taking on Real. They're playing a very defensive formation so hopefully we can get through it um one thing we may have to press a bit higher and just force the issue and we may also have to play the ball longer puffing it forward a bit maybe even a little bit quicker through the lines we'll have to see how we're feeling about the game as it gets underway here mm, Joe Felix <laughs> So brings that down and it's out quickly to Clay. Trying to still get him back into action. Rosa sits wide. You got Tavares. And he finds space so that it's blocked in front. Silva clears. I like that from Tavares, though. Nicely done there by Duarte on the defensive side. So we push forward. Javi through. Marcelo, and he just keeps it wide. able to hold possession, but are we doing much with it? Through 10 minutes, two shots. Tello chasing that one pretty aggressively. I don't know why the game decided that that ball was his. Uh, Any? Rafa? And fantastic movement here as they push forward. Tavares does drop in to help defend here, though, and it was much needed. Polino pushing again. Tavares Nicely done. Like to see him tracking back and working hard here. To Martello. Javi. Flips it across. Into space for Pedro Martello. He's not going to be able to run away from the defense, though. Marcio. Last one forward. Down, Tavares, looking to turn. He'll go wide with it. Tavares, working hard, but so is Pedro Suarez. But Tiago gets back and helps out. A little craziness. Go. 
Barbosa. And plenty of space. Steps forward. Martello, and he's wide. But he will be called offside. to Tiago. This time he'll press it forward to Tavares. He cuts in. Paulinho gets in front. Tavares. So Duarte able to pick up. He'll press forward to Tavares. He has a go from range and it's just over the bar, but I think he could have slipped Martello through. want one of your best players to be aggressive when he can, but it's maybe a little overly aggressive. Tunis finds Clay, who taps it to Martello. Save. Good movement there. I think one more touch needed from Martello. Uh, but he instead opted to try to catch the keeper out, but well done to be on guard. and he drops it back off to Chavi, who brings it into Martello. Tavares is pushing forward, but he's still got some men to beat. And Tunis making the run through, and a good finish. Maro and Tunis, the additional attacker coming from the midfield. Nicely done by the team. Just good hold-up play all around there. Letting the attackers get forward, opening up space. And then Tunis puts it home. Guillermo Silva. Just cutting that one out. Going all the way back though to Grillo. <laughs> In these lower leagues, that's a little scary. You never know when something's maybe a little wayward on the back pass. Up to Xavi. Rosas cuts it out. Duarte, though, can bring it down. And they're moving quick. Finding Miguel Tavares again. He's looking for space, and he'll have it go. Ball always curling away from the net. Not troubling the keeper whatsoever. Martello not going to get a lot of credit for that goal, but he was a key portion of it. We might still see Dita today, though. Um, with maybe his finishing not quite there. Seeing a different name. Tavares will win the foot race and pure athleticism from Miguel Tavares, but also a very nice finish for him. Nicely done. And Belenesis will take the two goal lead here at half. It's just been a very controlled attack, this one. Tavares getting behind the lines, picking up the loose ball. Early, you know, you were hoping Tavares was everything you hoped for. 
I think he has been. And another dominant first half from Velanessis. But can they put two halves together? I'm saying keep it up. I'm saying keep it up. Keep it up this time, boys. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because, like, team's going down and then they maybe, like, get more aggressive. And then that's maybe why we kind of come back into it at the end of the game is because they, they've now, like, okay, we're upping our tempo, we're upping our press, trying to make things more difficult. And then it is more difficult for us. But we'll see. Or turnover there. Good breakout. Rosa, though, gets back. And it finds the feet of Duarte. Relo off his line. He comes and gathers it. Sosa with a long cross field pass to Rosa. Pressing forward, Chavi. Rosa. He'll cut it back, Duarte. Into Marcelo. Finds Tavares, who just blasts it. out of real estate. Needed to pull back there instead of keep pressing forward. And Chavi, who finds Tavares. Behind the lines, can he finish it off? It somehow stays out. It crosses the whole line and nobody there to tap it home. Opportunity for Tavares, who's had himself an excellent day. Good movement there from Martello, and he gets it back on net. Okay, looking for Tavares on the backside. It won't be in Tunis. Tiago. It's Sosa. It's Rosa. Forte. Uh, and he's going to cut it. Martello there, and he can tap it home. Pedro Martello. A couple of key moments worth keeping him around. And now he gets rewarded for his good work that wasn't noticed, you know, on the stat sheet before. It's his goal. But excellent job by Rosa there. to take it on target has to be safe just think about things so Jao Sosa struggling a little bit Valente we'll see I definitely don't think we need to be like rushing Chavi, drop it off to Duarte. Chavi, he'll take a blast from range. It's through some traffic, and Marcio able to pick it up. Across. Martello, another chance. It's 
two now for Martello. I'm trying to avoid audibly, audibly clapping before, but yeah. Let's go for it. Excellently done. Fantastic work, and I think now we can potentially look to pull back. I'm gonna like open it, try to like open some things up with like a run at defense, but we're gonna work the ball into the box. Um, I'm not gonna bring anything else out. Um, I think we'll just take the counter press off at the moment. Uh, and we could definitely slow pace down. I also don't wanna start taking long kicks because I feel like it's so easy to just like sweep up for the defensive line. Um, and I think I'm just going to lower the line in the mid block. Um, just trying to make that even more difficult. And... We're wasting time, right? Um... So I do think we'll take Miguel Tavares out, even though he's having an excellent game. And we'll go to Lopez. Um, we're going to take Rosa out and go to Mar Martins. Um, yeah, this is going to be a little weird. Um, I think we'll leave Valente in for a little bit. But what I'm kind of thinking is we'll sub Sosa out. And we'll actually put, like, Helio Cruz in for Valente. I know he's probably not super comfortable doing that, but I feel like he's probably the best defensive option we have. He's still not great at it, just out of who could play that position. Um, so I think we'll just make a couple of substitutions now. And then I think we'll make a, a whole host of substitutions now. So flip Sarah, bring in... And we'll bring in Helio Cruz. Um, and then... Yeah, I think just as a change-up, we'll go back to Ferraria some of these guys a little bit more time. So we do not go to Dita. Just just in case something happens, we'll we'll look to get Martello. Another score potentially. He's just been so good here in the second half to get those two goals. Um you have to think that maybe that can possibly open up again down this end. particularly down this right side we've been good. A chance for Martello, and he does finish it off. His hat trick. And, I mean, a brilliant day for Tavares, but our other young star, Pedro Martello. It shows him up, but it's all down this right side. Three different players assisting him from, the very, from a very similar area of the pitch. Tunis is out there. He cuts in. He wants to take a shot on Polino. Able to gather it. And a shot for Real. Tiago in all kinds of space, and he'll take a blast, but it'll be blocked. 
Cruz able to pick up the loose ball. We'll look for Fred. Looks to just force it in, but can't get there. Belenenses have been dominant at times this season, but this one might have been the most. And we were able to put it all together. Marcelo, another chance. This one over the bar. I do kind of like the new like net physics, though. Uh, it's a little weird with like balls that are over the top or like maybe making it move a little too much. But it's um, like I feel like they could tone the misses down almost in a way. But I, I kind of like that it's a little looser feeling, you know. It's a weird, subtle thing. I feel like. But I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Marcio comes out and gathers that one a little too close to him. Not that many guys complacent, even in a dominating performance. I like to see that. They're still like pushing for it a little bit. Is there a play? Speaking of which, you know, jumping back in there on defense, going for it. Fred, Martello, tripped up a little bit. Now he's going to try to work back in, but it'll be Lopez on the backside. Polino able to save it. Ferreira going for something, but he's just falling the wrong way. But a pretty quick half. football here. Domination from Belenesis. They're maybe starting to put the league on notice a little bit. Real's performance could give you the belief that you could win. We never lack belief. We get into games like this, we recognize we're able to compete, and then it's whether we can go on and win it. Uh, it's a huge result. We played that match as we needed to play. Uh, showed everybody what we're capable of. Um, really impressive victory. Um, I haven't decided that yet. I think the thing is, if I could, like, legitimately, like, give you a rest day. If I could just be like, hey, good, you know, dominant victory, rest day. But then I want you to, like, let's come in. Let's still do the recovery day. Let's still do, like, let's still do those things. Like, a day later. I probably would, but... I think it's important for us to kind of build the team bonding and do all those things. So, like, this this is actually a very important day for us in building our culture, um, in a way. I mean, he just kind of had to tap at home, but he didn't scuff him. So, good finishes. Um... Uh, Yeah, I'm very pleased we dominated from minute one all the way. Um, yeah, it definitely gives us a platform to build on. Um, Called us have been definitely very good at the start of this, though. And another clean sheet for David Grillo, who seems to have maybe settled down from the earliest. Um, but I do think he has a competent unit in front of him. We, as part of where we, you know, we. Signed three new players all in that back line. That's where we really wanted to go. Only one shot, and it wasn't on target. Um, yeah, that's a dominant performance. Yeah, I think we have a chance. Um, I think each, each result is giving us confidence right now, and I think that's a good thing. In a 
an early start. An early start to it all. So we were top of the league for a brief moment. Amora, in the later game, takes it back from us. And we do have some more important games with guys that can take it over. Push us even further down. Uh, in the following days. Free transfer for Stefano Zarentanello. Pretty decent striker who's got kind of got it on all the right places where you want to see it. Um, actually has that like additional passing ability though. Does he have the vision to spot it? And the decision making to. Huh, he does have the decision making at least. Um, an interesting player, but. We just don't have the cash. More achievements coming through. Oh, I need to need to adjust these. And I think we have time, so I don't think we'll actually rest, guys. Too bad. I don't know if we need that. Maybe we do, though. I think I'm gonna flip it up, though, here a little bit. And something like that. So we mix it up a little bit, but we still are doing the things that we're interested in. Um, one thing is actually, I think I will go like a chance conversion here instead. We'll attend our meeting. So we'll start setting up some of these individual trainings. Just been kind of letting the game decide that. Um, eh, well, they kind of are, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I... I th Sarah. Um, it's a good question. That is a good question. Um, so Figueroa, I think, is technically not in anything at the moment. So, sure. Let me let me see. So, let's do. I mean, I agree with that. Um, player. I kind of, yeah, I agree with that too. He's probably upset about that, though. Um, and early starts for Martello, Tavares, and Sosa. I think we will... Um, Yeah, I mean, I don't know how... Actually, you know what? He's probably not terrible. For what we can get at Head of Youth Development, go for it.
So Martello. I mean, uh, an incredible start for Pedro Martello. Uh, Miguel Tavares. Uh, I think I can say excellent here. Yeah. And then I think to be a little bit safe. But probably our three most important players have all had excellent, excellent starts to the season. Well, I shouldn't make a save. Three of our m most important players, um, for sure, have been very good. Um, I mean, we're working hard to get this team cohesion up. Um, and trying to get this atmosphere and everything right. This this stuff kind of comes from winning team cohesion. I think also can come from winning. But I think we really need to... Uh, just working. But... I think we're we're already feeling some benefits. What was I thinking about? Oh, mentoring units. So we added Figueroa and Sarah here. So Figueroa is influencing average but receiving average. Okay. Sarah is like influencing average but also getting light. I don't know. Figueroa, at least, I think I can see the argument. I don't know that Sarah... I mean, I guess he's getting something from... The, I guess the question is, do I want these guys influing, influencing Tiago Lopez at all? Um, and maybe not. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, what are your negatives? Not really negatives, nothing too crazy positive either. I think you can stick around. That's fine. Um, and then we moved Kle down, and he's just getting light. And he wasn't getting light in the attacking. Yeah, I think I'd prefer to keep you in attacking, just in case you pick up something else. It's... You know, if you pick up one of those traits that comes through, it, I feel like attacking traits. I mean, probably either or is not terrible for you, but... Working hard. Tavares, Martello, Antunas, and Clay. All jumping in there. We currently have a 15% less... 15% decrease in injury. guys not on my short list that have like an A plus. Alright. Sorting my recommendation. But... I think all these guys down through like a four star potential. I guess we can generally keep an eye on in case something comes up, but 
I think the next couple of players we need, we're need bringing in need to be important players in a certain sense. That was just so many guys. I, I moved through that really quickly. Um, oh, you know what? I won't. I actually won't pray so so this time. And then Tunis. Just below eight. We'll, we'll talk about it. Financial status okay. We're gonna lose a lot of money, I think, throughout the year. But it is what it is. As we expected from David Rosa when we got him, we wanted him to be this offensive guy uh, for us. And he is making those progressive passes. He's getting the assists, the expected assists, the dribbles. He's doing it all down that right side. What we've been hoping. That's what we were hoping for from him. And Diogo Keo. Looks like he's maybe kind of becoming something down here a little bit. We probably could consider calling him up, though, because he can't play, unfortunately. But uh, at the moment. But maybe he keeps that up, and that's something to consider. Oh, and then another thing, because we listed him, didn't we? What is his name? We don't have any recommendations for him. Yeah, just um, go for him, I guess. Seems risky. Feel like I'll get some trash offers. <laughs> So then, job security, we're now in very secure. They like the way that we're moving towards the club vision. They like the way the tactics and the squad is all working and feeling out. The supporters like the fact that we're winning. I'm gonna make a lot of supporters mad when, with my youth treatment, probably. And this is the Taca de Portugal second round. So this is a team we should be beating. They're rated below us. The question is, do we maybe get Azevedo out for a match? Just a consideration. I think we do. Um... Yeah, I think, again, I want to rotate fairly heavily here. And we have more room here. Interesting.
So we're gonna flip uh, Costa in uh, with Tavares. This Maria feeling. I think we'll go Clay. Then we'll go back to Cruz. Keep on Chavi though. Valente. Martens. Then we'll go with Sarah. Lorenzo. How many subs is that? One, two. The starting midfield. Three. Four. And then the keeper. Alright. Alright. We're taking a risk a little bit here. I think this is something where they would probably ex be expecting us to win. Um, but. Trying to get guys uh, rotated in and working a little bit. Yeah, I'll press the extra attackers. Um, I will think, I think I'll show on to weaker foot for the guys wide. Don't know about any of these guys, really. And we'll, I think we'll start normal and we'll see how it goes. So we still get three stoppages, five substitutions, uh, which is what I was kind of counting on. I should have maybe paid attention to that <laughs> earlier. Um, I just feel like it's, it is very standard now. Um, and we will jump right in here. We are traveling to a semi-professional club, so we'll see how it goes. We are... Trying to set ourselves up well here. Didn't want to rotate everybody by any means. It's so funny. There's a lot of like very similar named people. There's like so many Martins and We're hoping to dominate in the midfield today. That's where we, we've we set up strongly. Costa making a good run through. Perfectly timed. A brilliant early goal in Jao Costa. No one who finds it for Bellinessis. I think, I think Costa and Marcelo can be a very dangerous one-two punch, to be honest with you. Costa's got that better running off the ball ability. So, like, if Marcelo isn't working, you got a guy that maybe does it a little bit different. And a fast start for Balanesis. And it is somewhat probably what the fans came to see in a way. Higher level of football being played out there. What's the difference? What's the gap? And a pretty big one is what showed itself first. They're pressing again. Under control and into space. Miguel Tavares cuts it way back. A long one for Cruz. And he's going to take a shot. But it will stay wide. Welcome, Gary Miller. Appreciate the follow. We'll cut that one out there. Tavares striding across. Not a great pass. 
Yeah, a little bit more control there, but going for the long shot and a little bit of glory for a guy that's already started the match pretty well in Chavi. Can't blame him too much, you know. <laughs> Martins. A little mess, but Cruz can get it. Duarte into space looking for Tavares. I don't know if he was onside anyway. And he was not. He'll actually bring the ball back. Since there wasn't really any advantage gained from that as they just clear. Tavares running off it well. Another long ball over the top. Hmm. Said he hit the post. Just like ran himself out of space. But nobody really came with him. And now Tavares... It fell to him on the backside. He's not able to push it home. to go, man. All highlights all the time, Miguel Tavares. Not playing uncomprehensive for anybody who's asking that question. Um, okay. Into Chavi. Find space again. Blocked yet again. They are just going to straight up call Costa offside and not give the corner. He was considered in the way by the referee. And a wild shot ultimately from Helio Cruz. Costa looking across to Tavares, who does win the header but can't get over top of it to get it on net. Here's Duarte moving it past Martins. Moving it back and forth. We're starting the Olays in the opponent stadium a little early, I think, boys. Um, tense. And he blasts it wide. You know, one thing I'm going to do, I don't tend to like to put this on. Um, we're also going to run at defense, though, and try to open it up a little bit. Um, we're going to try to work the ball into the box. I don't want to up the tempo, because I don't want to tire us out. I think we should just stay controlled in the game. If we're still searching for a goal, I mean, we've gotten one. Um, but if we're still searching... We want another in the second half. Then I think we might up the tempo. I would like to get like three goals so I could sub lesser some of the like true backups into the game. But um, guys that like haven't really even gotten minutes yet. And it finds Miguel Tavares on the back side. Costa holds up his run. Tries to stay out of the way. I think it's a little tricky. I don't know if they would call that offside or not. Uh, it's 
but I guess he stayed far enough away to not say it influenced the play, though. It seemed like a couple of defenders crashed on him. But maybe their own fault, I guess. It's Cruz. Nobody really making that run for him. Aren't they? Looking to get it in. Can't find it. Sweeping up the long balls is what we want. They will keep it in. He's looking. Costa running forward. Jao Costa. A nice play on the ball. And I started complaining a little bit, and suddenly. <laughs> look out for Duarte. Go wide. Chavi. Did he stay on side? A lot of movement around the lines. It doesn't matter. They say he does. Well, hello up here. Kind of exactly what we're hoping for in the cup. Uh, looking very well in hand here against the semi-professional team. A little tune-up, a little warm-up, getting some different players involved. Though some of our key players that did still get the start did look pretty good. And I've looked the dominant little pieces that we needed it's over. Costa a chance. He finishes it off. Costa's looking to break records now, I think. Just flipped up over the back line. a shot and it was on target for Camara de Lobos. And it's coming back. Oh for offside though. controlling position. We are getting the shots out of it, but we want to just keep controlling that possession as we move forward. Um, I think Miguel Tavares has earned a rest. So we'll go to Miguel Lopez. Um, I think same from Chavi. Now the question is, do we go to like... No, Ferreria is still... He's searching for a little bit of fitness and sharpness. So we'll also go to Philippe Ferreria. Ferreira. Uh, for him to finish out this game. So a couple of starters will get... An extended rest here as we, you know, continue to use this as a tune-up game, as a sharpness game.
And I don't really mind us taking it kind of easy. Uh, and around the 60 minute, I think we'll make a couple more changes here. Um, Duarte will be out. Really, our only option is Cruz. Um, and I guess what I'll do is I'll just, like, I'll put Ferreira there. Then bring in Carvajal. Yeah, he's not really... Well, it's not that horrible for box-to-box, -box, actually. Oh, right, and Ferreira actually is. He's, like, worthless on defense. Um... But, so Dida and Figueroa probably won't be getting in. Maria we could, but I think we'll just let Clay build. Um, but I do think we'll maybe go to Lopez. But if I'm going to Lopez, then actually I guess I'll go to Antunes here. In the box-to-box -box role. Figueroa is kind of the other guy. And so we'll take... We'll bring him in. And so some major substitutions, but we're up four. I'm feeling pretty confident in that. And around this... Not yet, but around the 70 minute mark, I think we'll, we'll pull way off. We'll like start regrouping. We'll, we'll maybe even lower the tempo down a touch. Like, pull the line back. Wins it. A chance. And just miss. Done there. Actually, now at five, we might pull that trigger a little bit earlier. Between the legs. as we push forward. Really looking to slow this thing down. Not in a hurry. No need to push forward for us too much. Tiago takes a looping ball from range. a little injured. Yeah. Hopefully he's okay. We'll just get through the game. Lopez brings it down. Costa. He just like has a go from well out. What happened to work ball into the box? What a run from Antunes. What a run. And the veteran puts it home. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is just a run. He just bursts through. And the keeper, I mean, he goes down early. Opens it up. What's Fred feeling, by the way? Up six, I could almost, like, consider pulling, just pulling him off. Just get through the game, my man. I know you're not doing well, but get through the game. We're not trying to do anything too crazy. Yo, Lopez. Finding Costa, who blasts it wide. An opportunity for even more. Not taken. Apologies for that. Um, he still came through. They kind of catch it. Got to uh, go get some more water after this. A good run from Tiago. And head it over. Um, I, I do think I want to push the stream a little bit tonight. Um, although maybe a shorter one wouldn't be bad, uh, as I still haven't edited the first stream to bring it down. Um, Welcome, Hogger. Appreciate the follow. Depot. Is what it is. That's it. Full time. Back-to-back -back dominant performances. This one is maybe more expected than our last one. But good to see we can do it, even with some backups in. But from minute one, and then we answered a couple of times pretty quickly. And then kind of coasted there in the second half. But uh, exactly what we wanted from that. Martin's okay, although it was a tight groin, so it could have could have maybe something worse if he pulled it. Um, okay. Um, I don't know what the next game after that looks like, but I suspect we'll be going back. typical setup here. So just for me, Uh... 
hunting, chance conversion, chance creation, play from the back. We do like doing that. Um, sure, some extra defense things. Uh, yeah, we're not good on attacking corners at all. Um, I don't want to do much more with this. Thing I'm thinking about is. General possession? Sure. And then, like, attacking patients. set up for that day with the pushes extra we'll worry about that next time okay uh, not entirely sure what that was uh going on about not familiar with the, these teams yet The third round is made today, so let's check that out. I think these, th so this is, uh, I think, still massive. So we're just going to draw all teams. And we have Atletico CP, which I believe. So this is another team below us. They're ranked, but they are below us. A team we hopefully should dismantle. And, oh, so that's coming up after the upcoming game. So let me just, let me just add this in, though. Um, and add... I'll just add it. I'll just add it all in right now. Just to make sure it's okay. And then um, we'll look closer at the actual training schedule. At a later date. Gel. Let's see how though. But they reeks. Ah. I gotta do this every time, but I'm just curious about maybe what how some of our top prospects are they looking like something interesting next year I was going to go get water you know cuz I was coughing but I think we'll get one more game in here. Sarah, I think I can talk to. Martello, I believe I can talk to. And then Sosa, I believe I skipped last time. So hopefully it's okay. How am I finding the game this year? So this is really only my second session. So, um, not 
so I'm not as familiar yet, and I've only played with this lower tier, tier team, so to kind of explain um, those things <laughs> as, as a preference. So I'm still pretty early into it, um, but I think I'm liking some of the animations, some of the, the interesting things. It seems like there's maybe a little bit more chaos in the match engine, but I don't know if that just goes away. Um, but these guys feel like <laughs> they're, they're chaotic, so it'll be interesting to see if the game slowly like tightens up as we get better players um, and everybody's running a little bit more crisp. Um, but it feels loose, uh, which I think is kind of fun that that you're getting that, because I don't think that was necessarily the case in 23. Uh, although it's been, a, or 22, uh, though it's been a while since I was at like a lower level team there. Um, The other thing is, yeah, yeah, it's just a little extra chaos. It's kind of, um, I mean, and this isn't even like the lowest division, so I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> imagine like if you're playing in uh, like the fourth, fourth tier, fifth tier in, in England, <laughs> it'd be wild. Um, we, uh, let's see what I was thinking about something. Oh, I feel like. But I also only have, like, one scout. <laughs> so, but I feel like scouting's weird. Like, I think I almost, like, need a new lesson on, like, how I'm supposed to scout in this. Like, I thought I kind of had it figured out in 22, and now it seems like it's, uh... It's a little weird with, like, the focuses instead of... The just, like, assigning scouts to places. But again, it's like I have one scout and it's very local, so maybe... Maybe more options kind of do open up, and I'm just not seeing those things because I don't have them at the moment. Um, so I'm kind of holding out on that one. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. If it, if they have changed it around a lot, I, I'm feeling that. I, I <laughs> my dumb brain, it, it's not there to work it out yet. Um, but hopefully, we can figure it out um, and get it moving. Uh, in the right direction again, because I felt like it was fine, <laughs> and then they changed that up, which is interesting. Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, this is a rivalry match? Oh, I should probably check that out. Um, and I guess speaking of rivalry matches, then I, I, I do like having somebody else. Though, again, I think generally, like, if you're winning, everybody's gonna be fine with you. But I do like somebody else, like the fans, having a bit of a say. And, and then maybe, I don't know if it would ever save your job, but like, hey, you've done right by the fans for a year. Like, <laughs> even though if you maybe weren't meeting all of our goals, maybe it could help push you. We're willing to give you another chance or something. Yeah. Still it comes down to winning, I guess, ultimately. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna take it neutral. This game sees. Oh. And I do need to start learning how to pronounce these names here in Portugal. Um, I hope it gets a decent reception. Uh -huh. Calendar increasing pressure. I think he's thriving. Um, I don't, I don't know about transfers. We don't have money. I mean, what? Um. Yeah, exactly. Um, actually, I think that would be... That's the part I'm maybe interested to see is, like, how fast will the fans turn on you? Because I do feel like, in real life, it's like, you've had, like, two bad performances in a row. Like, ew, you know, you're not out yet, but we're... We're watching you. <laughs> it's like... Like, I'm a... So, like, I'm a Tottenham fan. Conte had, like, a stretch there where, like, we, like... 
just weren't scoring goals or we were only scoring goals in the second half or something and the fan base starts going like you might not be the guy and it's like isn't he like he's one of the best managers in the world maybe give him a chance what's going on um uh, yeah, we'll let's do the real fresh 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 there oh uh, she's an arsenal fan well uh, and then and then i think that's the interesting thing too of like where maybe you you are aggressive towards somebody like on arteta is there something that maybe comes into this game of like giving him the chance and like winning the fans over and, and I don't know. It's can be interesting. Um, I think I'm just gonna end this like after this game. An extra dynamic. Hopefully they build on it, and uh, no animosity towards the Arsenal fan. You're you're welcome for for now. <laughs> uh, very impressive start for you guys. I kind of hate that, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Some pieces. What made me choose Spurs? Um, so one of my buddies is a Spurs fan, and he played as them, like, every year in FIFA when we were in college together. Uh, so it became an easy thing to, like, jump into that first because I knew, like, Harry Kane, Youngman's son, um and all of those names and then the drama sucked me in <laughs> so i came in when uh during the pandemic after so they were top of the league in like december or something like multiple two years ago with Mourinho, and then they just like collapsed <laughs> and everybody kind of going nuts <laughs> um they like <laughs> uh, they got me <laughs> i guess I don't know if it's a good reason to be a fandom, but it was, like, fun, like, how involved people were, I think, is kind of where it started. I don't know if that really makes sense either, but... <laughs> and I also, as a caveat to that, too, I, I think I like what they... Um kind of the level that they're at right now where they're like trying to push to be the top team but maybe they you know they don't have that like huge like oil well <laughs> of money <laughs> to pull from so that helped also not be like a man city fan i guess um and i'm taking a lot of goalkeeping training in here. Said I wasn't gonna do this, so then I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's all a little, all a little crazy. Um, I'm also, you know, I just, I, I wasn't really involved for the last World Cup, I guess, and. I guess I mostly just ignored it but this World Cup has been really really fun and it's also been really fun to see like people that I didn't really think were into it like get into it um, too so I've had a lot of fun with that uh yeah sort of I kind of knew that we weren't good with this wasn't quite the year I was hoping we would beat the Netherlands, but just some terrible defending. But yeah, I was I was back in the U.S. Um, I'm kind of rooting for Argentina now, partially Cudi Romero from Spurs, and partially I do think I don't know a ton about Messi. I haven't like watched every game of his, but I know that he's special, and like some of his goals already this World Cup, or at least like that last one in the last game, just like comes out of nowhere, and it's like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I see. I see. But I don't I don't think I'm not feeling like they're actually going to win win it all though. Yeah, I'll just choose something here. But 
but I am generally rooting for the Spurs boys, so Richarlson scoring another excellent goal today, and um... oh, alright, I like that, but no, um, and seeing Harry, Harry Kane score, well, all for it, at least for now. Those things. Fullback. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's all. Um, it has definitely been crazy, though. It does seem like everything's kind of gone. Like everything now. Everything's kind of gone to it. I've been waiting for the the upset. We almost had it, I guess, with Croatia. But just terrible penalties, to be honest. Uh, no. Okay. Uh. But yeah, Kane, yeah, Kane against Senegal, yeah, it was absolutely insane. I'm starting to think that guy might be good, <laughs> good at football. Um, what do we got? So then we have another. We got a team in third and a top in an away game. I think I'm gonna go full starters here, especially since everybody's kind of not fully sharp. Should still be okay, but. Oh, my team's too big. I'm like trying. I'm like trying to rotate everybody and use everybody, and it's just like it's it's too much. I need to just get rid of guys. Um. Or like you're just here for injuries, I guess is kind of the way I should treat it. Um, one one guy was like, "Yeah, I can keep, I can keep scoring goals." understand which foot is weaker, but we'll just let it go. Um, tunnel. Encourage what you've seen so far. Um, just like in general? Yeah, I think we're happy with how things are going. Um, hope so. We're a better team when he plays well. Um, Yeah, we're looking to looking to build on the good times. Coming in against a team that's on a pretty good streak themselves. But hopefully we can continue our winning ways. That started to pick up. An important matchup early at the top of our half of the division. Still not entirely sure how this is gonna all go down at the end of it all, but we'll see how it goes. Victoria, they set to ball. I think I can handle that pronunciation. Done. Meow. Out wide. Tins pushing up. Looking for space. Tavares finds it. Go cut in. Looks to flip one over. I 
a chance. Maria, down. Oh, and we get in our own way. Opportunities there. Couple early opportunities, we like that, but uh, this does also have me scared of one of those games where we're gonna regress to our only one good half, and this might be the good half. <laughs> flips it over the top. Maria. Close down and out. in space, he'll rifle one, go right at the keeper, flip sides, another corner, keeping the pressure on, Cruz brings it down again, Maria, Javi, Open space, a rifled shot. Grillo makes the save. Was well, a long way out. Grillo coming out for that one and able to get it through some traffic. Looking to restart us. Right open on the right. Wasted time and we'll go just long. Martello will try to bring it down. Subtle change, but I don't know. I think that was, if we're going to... If they're going to kind of maybe stop the center backs, let's give the option for wide. A burst forward, terrible save. Oh, terrible, terrible attempt. Oh, that was his first ever goal. Yeah, I should have just known. <laughs> should just know if he's in space or score. Yeah, kind of an unfortunate clearance. Good pass. Good work. Really, I mean, he's kind of got the keeper in no man's land, but you kind of just hope your keeper makes that save. Luis Pedro. Victoria. Looking to find space. Got a man pushing. They're finding room. All sorts of chaos. This one blocked. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Mentoka. They kind of took the momentum and never looked back. I don't like. I don't like, like what's going on. Need to weather the storm. Need to survive. Can't let this lead get any worse. 
and hopefully we can find nice work from Martello there and able to keep it in play maybe question mark They're feeling it now. Victoria just bombarding near goal. Somehow stayed out. Fortune for Bellinessis to be in this one. I don't know what to do because I don't. We're so good for Maria. Maybe a little like increase in tempo or something. Yeah, we they, we just like stopped doing anything and yeah, they just like took possession too. Okay, a little bit different of a problem then. a little bit. We're gonna try. Okay. Keep working. Just want everybody feeling good, to be honest. I don't... You... Like, I'm looking at the ratings, and not that that, like, says everything, but we're not necessarily playing bad. Not necessarily key critical errors. We're just not quite getting it done. to look at more of like a counter-attacking style. Space. Tavares trying to release Martello, but it's not there. Now a long ball over the top. Cut some of those problems down, but a different problem rearing its head today. How do we deal with being out-possessed? It's kind of the first time that's happened. I feel like the guys that should be thriving in this instance, and maybe they're just like pressing them really well. But I feel like the guys that kind of should be thriving here, our most creative player in Xavi and Valente. You like. And then, unfortunately, they're like two of our better conditioned players at the moment. But we're trying, trying something a little different in the midfield. And then, as much as I kind of like... I think I'll leave Tavares for now. See how the midfield's feeling. But I think we will go to Costa up front. Martello just I do think Martello has the has that quality where he could just score. But Costa's maybe coming in a little more confident. I don't like him feeling anxious. Like a, we might only generate one chance. We need you to take it. 
you know. So, maybe hoping Costa can do something for us. Space. And a rifle shot from range. Costa going to work. I mean, that's something promising, at least. It does wait till everybody kind of there, but a good run now from the midfield. We can't put the cross in. Maria, and he shoots over. Um, actually, I'm gonna let him let them get this started. Um, so Tavares out. Lopez and then Martins out for Tiago Lopez. And I think we're pushing. Trying to like maybe get onto their back line a little bit, stop letting them just like control the game, force the issue a little bit more, and it becomes something. Trying to take the shot, can't get it. in space. Well, not really given to him with pace, but he'll try to push up himself. It's the first real defender there. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I needed to make this sub. Get him out, out of here. Miguel. But just we had so many, so many issues. But maybe I should have just trusted Tavares to get in there. Or, uh, trusted one of these two guys. Some of our best players. Try positive. This, unfortunately, will be our first loss of the season. I don't even necessarily think we played that poorly. We just didn't play well either. Trying this long balls. Not our game. It's not what we've been building for. Close in the XG, we just, kind of when I said we didn't really take our chances there in that first half, that's what cost us. Had we taken our two chances, this is a draw. Um, and unfortunately, you know, they score that low XG chance. 
Not to say that they didn't deserve to, if we deserve to, but... Would have been nice for a draw. Instead, it'll be a loss. Trying to just get some guys maybe fired up after missing that that team talk. But maybe should have just shut up. Maybe for the day, what's the analysis? Um, I think we did enough to deserve a victory, but it wasn't our day. Um, it's not a case. going back to the drawing board, but we need to pick things back up. Your team suffered disappointing defeat. Um, we weren't as bad as the scoreline reflects, but keen to move on. And, uh, you know, we started nicely, five games undefeated, um, but remember we looked shaky in the first two games. That game, I think, was very competitive, just didn't quite fall out, and so I, I will accept that. So while that is a disappointing result, it's one that's maybe more in line with what uh, the early expectations were. Always disappointed to lose with so many positives out there. Luis Marquez was brilliant. Yeah, he's very good. Yes, sometimes you just have to hold your hands up a minute. There was little we could do. Um, proof, proof in the hard work that he has put in, so. More interesting center backs as we're looking. I just feel like, so like there's the focuses now, and I just feel like the focuses seem to be like the same players and the results of the same players, and, I'm, and that's confusing me a little bit. I want you to go find more players that fit the bill. I don't know. <sighs> that's not bad. They are just well structured. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and I guess that's another observation I should say about the game that I've felt. But it's early and we're, you know, we're still building the whole squad, so it's tough to really say if it's like the game or something else. Um, but I have felt that like there seems to be a lot more just like passing along the back lines in general, whether that's a match engine thing. Uh, but it might also be you just don't have the creative player that's looking to force things forward. So I think that's another change I haven't really talked about. That's, that's a, like the team that has more possession in this game really does feel like it's just passing along the back line and not necessarily taking chances all, all the time on on both sides, whether it's my team or um, the opposition AI, but I don't know, maybe that's what they want to do. You waste a little bit more time just in general. Maybe trying to make it feel a little more re realistic with, you know, when everybody's wasting time doing everything they do. Um, maybe it's easier to give a lot of, when you're getting possession, just kind of doing nothing with the ball. So I wonder if it's almost like an internal 
tweak to the programming, but it is what it is. I don't think that's why we lost that game. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, just couldn't get it done. We, we have had a pretty decent start in our sitting in the mid table, uh, but it does also seem like some teams are starting to run away. Not totally run away with the top places, but uh, we, we knew this was going to be a long... Yeah, I still don't know. Like, is everybody in the relegation playoff? Like, is that is that what is happening with the two colors here? Anyway. Um, we do seemingly have had a good start. Uh, a, tough, a tough loss there. Uh, another... Tough draw at home, where we were hoping for maybe a little bit more, but we've also proven that we can score goals and win pretty favorably. Um, so hopefully we can keep that up uh, and keep pushing forward. I think we have to, well, actually with what the way that the performance is telling me that I have to feel like we're doing really well. Um, but hopefully we can establish ourselves and, and start to make a push uh, next time out. So, my plan is to... This Thursday might be a little weird. Because... Um, I have plans on Saturday. So it kind of depends on if I'm willing to, like, skirt some things for, like, World Cup. Just, like, playing through the World Cup games and stuff. Or if I want to, like, go watch the World Cup somewhere. And then go to plan Saturday night. So, it may be another Bella Nessa stream on Thursday is kind of a makeup for Saturday, and then maybe I'll do something like a little goofy, a little different on a Sunday or something. Um, but that is my American football day still. Um, but also this Saturday might be, I might get a game flexed into this Saturday or something. I heard there's some weird this weird stuff going around. So we'll, we'll see about all of that. Um, so if you want to keep up to date on that, uh, follow on Twitter. Um, also, YouTube channel, you can, anybody, suck around, check out. Um, I'm working on uploading all the Brescia saves. They're, very, they're only long-form content. Um, but the previous FM22 save. Wrapping up, um, I, don't have, I don't have a full history of that save, but I do now have, like, three seasons, I believe. Um for people to check out um, if they like the long form stuff um, but thanks everybody for who you know stopped in is watching at all um, appreciate everything hoping to get some more edited content out of this save uh, which is why I don't want to like overdo it too quickly where I have like 50 hours like saved up where I gotta like work out so hopefully I can kind of start working through this though um, and, and get things moving, try to update some things, push, push this channel a little bit further over the next year. I feel like it's become a little stagnant, neat, trying to put a little bit more effort in and helping it, but appreciate everybody stopping in. Um, hope, hope to see you again, um, and have a great rest of your day. Peace.